In this video, we will try to solve your question on import tariff and revenue. This question was asked by a brother on Econ Maths uh, Telegram channel. The question is like this: Consider a small country with domestic demand and supply for pencils given as QD is equal to 10 minus P is the demand function for pencils. QS is equal to minus 2 plus P is the supply of pencils domestically. Initially, the small country engages in free trade at international price of 2 units, but now the government imposes an import tariff of 1 unit, then government tariff revenue would be. The options are 14, 9, 7 and 6. Okay. So, this is our domestic demand and supply curve. We are being told if, go, if this country engages in free trade at the international price of 2 units, okay, and also the government imposes an import tariff, then what will be the uh, tariff uh, revenue of government okay so uh, let's try to solve this so let us first to draw the graph here okay so we have uh, quantity on this axis price on this axis okay so our domestic demand curve is this that means if i draw it here when p when q is equal to zero our price will be 10 so the intercept will be like this okay this is our domestic demand curve okay so this is our domestic demand curve what is our domestic supply curve when q is equal to 0 p is equal to 2 this is our uh, domestic supply curve okay let us say this is our domestic supply curve we are being told initially uh, the small country engages in free trade international price of two units okay so before we go to this let us find out the equilibrium before going for the free trade international uh, a price okay so uh, equilibrium occurs where demand and supply intersect this is our demand this is our supply so equilibrium uh, means our quantity demanded should be equal to quantity supplied so this quantity demanded is 10 minus p should be equal to minus 2 plus p okay this is not necessary but i just want to show you where does our equilibrium uh, price and quantity occur in case of domestically demand and supply of pencils okay so if i transpose this here this will become 12 is equal to uh, minus p will become plus p so we have p plus p is 2p okay that means our price will be equal to 12 upon 2 which comes out to be 6 so corresponding to this we have domestically price equilibrium price is 6 and quantity demanded quantity uh, demanded will be just plus p is equal to 6 either in this equation on this equation okay so 10 minus 6 gives us 4 so quantity demanded will be 4 in case of uh, domestically demand and supply okay so this is not necessary but i just want to show you where will our international price of two units would lie okay now the question uh, tells us that this small country engages in free trade at international price of two units okay so our world supply will be so when price is 2 it will be below 6 obviously so when price is 2, let me write here. So let's write here. When price is 2, when pri international price is 2, corresponding to this, when international price is 2, let me write it here. We have uh, mm, quantity demanded domestic, uh, which is equal to 10 minus P and quantity supplied is equal to minus 2 plus p now when price is equal to 2 okay uh, what is the quantity supplied at this price uh, domestic supply is equal to just plug uh, world price here so quantity supplied will be equal to minus 2 plus the international price which is 2 so quantity supplied is 0 and corresponding to this what is the domestic uh, demand now domestic demand just plug uh, this is our domestic demand and world supply price is 2 uh, then our domestic supply will be uh, domestic sorry domestic demand will be just plug uh, here the world price so quantity demanded at world price will be equal to 10 minus 2 uh, 10 minus 2 so quantity demand domestically is equal to 8 okay corresponding to this uh, we have 8 units okay so at world price of 2 quantity supply domestically is 0 
and quantity demanded is 8 okay so uh, this uh, region this will denote our imports okay so since quantity supplied is 0 quantity demanded is, is 8 okay so the difference between these two gives us the magnitude of imports okay so our imports is 8 now we are being told uh, that government imposes an import tariff of one unit okay so if government imposes import tariff of one unit then new price will be new price will be equal to the world price which is two plus the tariff of one unit that is one okay so our world price will be two plus one is three okay so let us say this is our world price this is three here okay so this is our world supply uh, let me write it here world supply and this is our world supply plus tariff okay so when new price is two now quantity supplied quantity supplied domestically will be equal to so just plug the value here quantity supplied was minus two minus two plus we have three here so this comes out to be one so corresponding to this new price uh, let us say this is our three domestic supply is equal to one so this point denotes one okay and corresponding to this what is the demand so at a price of three so here uh, this intersects with our demand curve okay so just plug this three in our demand curve that means quantity demanded at world price uh, plus the tariff will be equal to 10 uh, minus three that is new price so 10 minus 3 is 7 okay corresponding to this our price will be 7 okay now so this uh, area this area this area denotes our import revenue okay import tariff revenue and our import tariff revenue will be equal to uh, import tariff revenue uh, import tariff revenue will be equal to 7 minus 1 which is 6 so this is 7 minus 1 into the import tariff which is 1 okay so quantity imported into the tariff rate will give us the import tariff revenue so 7 minus 1 is 6 so we have 6 into 1 is equal to 6 so the import tariff revenue will be 6 okay very simple uh, idea is here first we need to see demand and supply functions after that we were told that um, world supply price is two units this is our world supply of two units corresponding to this world supply of two units okay so price is two when price is equal to two quantity supply domestically just plug this world supply in uh, this uh, domestic uh, price uh, domestic supply curve you will get supply is zero when price is two and corresponding to this world price of two uh, quantity demanded is 10 minus two which came out to be eight okay so this denotes and uh, this uh, green a line denotes our the magnitude of imports and now we were being told that there is import tariff of one unit when import tariff of one unit we have so we were having an international price of two units to this uh, we have to pay one unit as import tariff then our new sub uh, new price will be uh, two plus one which comes out to be three at this new price our quantity uh, supply domestically will be one just plug um, price is equal to three in 
supply function we will get quantity supplied domestically is, a, is equal to 1 and corresponding to this uh, our quantity demanded is equal to 7 just plug price is equal to 3 world price is equal to 3 and quantity demanded will give us quantity demanded domestically is 7 and this the difference between this quantity demanded sorry quantity supplied and quantity demanded what is this what is it it is simply the amount of import so amount of import is 7 minus 1 which comes out to be 6 and uh, import tariff was 1 so 6 into 1 which is equal to 6 is our total import tariff revenue okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you